The debate over offshore drilling isn't new, but lawmakers are debating it more than ever in the wake of the Refugio spill. Details are now on the actions taken by the Board of Supervisors on Tuesday. Two weeks after this corroded Plains All-American pipeline spilled oil near Refugio and El Capitan State Beaches, Senate Bill 788 passed the Senate floor by a 21 to 13 vote. The bill co-authored by Senator Hannabeth Jackson would ban new drilling in the Trankian Ridge that extends into federal waters near Platform Irene in the Santa Barbara Channel. This week, Santa Barbara County Supervisors voted 3-2 to two to support it. Supervisor Salud Carbajal says it closes a loophole in the California Coastal Sanctuary Act. It acknowledges that spills and there's a lot of perils uh, with new offshore oil development. And this really stops that in its tracks in state waters. But Supervisor Peter Adam voted against it, saying the proposed legislation is a knee-jerk reaction to a tragic but manageable problem. It is a cynical attempt to exploit an unfortunate incident for political gain. But Carbajal, who is running for Congress, says it's time to move forward toward renewable energy. If you ask the wildlife that uh, is now dead, if you ask the environment that's now badly damaged, if you ask the tourism and the economy that was hurt as a result result of the spill, I don't think it's knee-jerk at all. I think it's prudent. Like the spill, this bill has people divided. And more than a decade ago, an oil company proposed drilling into Trankian Ridge oil reserves from an area near Vandenberg Air Force Base. The Senate bill's next stop is in state assembly committees.